actually a couple of miles southwest of the airfield and a couple of miles too from the village of Duxford which is in that direction just across the other side of the M11 and it was in this wheat field that the American aircraft the Mustang the historic Mustang actually came to grief and actually looking at it looking at the wreckage you'd be very hard placed to identify the type of aircraft it is. The collision with a Douglas Sky Raider came close to the end of a highly successful show. This was the scene yesterday evening as three historic US aircraft performed a string of maneuvers in front of a large crowd. This the build-up to the mid-air collision. The tail of the P-51 Mustang strikes a wing of the Sky Raider. These pictures sent to us by David Quinton. You can clearly see the broken wing falling to earth. The pilot of the Sky Raider managed to pull out of a dive and bring it into land successfully. Wingtip's gone. He's lost his wingtip. The Mustang plummeted to the ground, but the pilot managed to parachute to safety. Emergency crews attended. Both pilots were treated by paramedics at the scene. So a very lucky escape for the two pilots. Spectators talked of a large chunk of wing falling to earth. Let's show you pictures sent to us by Andrew Wallace. They show the extent of that damage as the Sky Raider came into land. A tribute to the skills of the pilot in recovering from potential disaster and landing without any of the crowd being put into danger. Well, the Imperial uh, War Museum say that the Air Accident Investigation Branch is now investigating this the, and the mid-air collision. It's issued a statement too. It says the Air Accident Investigation Branch has today begun its formal inquiry. The Imperial War Museum is complying fully with the requirements, but it says it is launching an immediate internal review to determine if any changes to flying procedures.